we took a very random trip to Arizona. There's Josh. has been an amazing day and yes we did take a spontaneous trip to arizona with some friends we've been having a lot of fun um some hotels are open obviously they're not they're rooming people with um limited capacity and the pool's not open the gym's not open but it's all right we wanted to get away for a little bit from san diego we did like five hours and a half and we are in kingman arizona so whoever is watching from arizona Hi, and I don't know how you guys can deal with the heat. So right now, we went to this lake. It's called Lake Reed, something like that. And it was pretty fun. We were just there chilling. You know, a lot of restaurants that open here, and we have in and out, but they're doing everything with limited capacity. You know, they don't require a mask here. And yeah, so I just wanted to vlog a little bit of, of what we're doing, and hopefully I can vlog more. And that's it for now. I'm not gonna lie, we just had in and out, and this dude went for another freaking burger. <laughs> he ate a three by three. Good kisses. So how much is it? Double double? What does it? With a mask because we're like. Where does it go, dude? Better than San Diego? Yeah, I, I feel like it tastes better. It tastes to be honest. Some, or I was just too hungry. I don't know. It, it was so good. Okay, well, I right. want to see you. I want to see you bite it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, guys. Mm. I want the tip just to me. All right, so it's the next day and we are currently in Las Vegas, Nevada. We've never been here together. He has been here a long time ago, yeah? Kid, Me yeah. too. I was here a long time ago. So we just came. We don't know what's open. We don't know what's up. We just came because we were like like an hour and 50 minutes from where we were in uh, Las, uh, it, Arizona. We were at Newman or where? Is it? Kingman. Oh, Kingman. <laughs> Kingman. Kingman, Arizona. So we we're like one hour and 50 minutes. So we just wanted to come here. But we just found this spot that I don't believe we have in San Diego. Yama White Castle. So I don't think we have. We've seen it like in stores. So we're gonna. Um, yeah, they sell that shit like in. Onde? In a grocery outlet. We bought it in a grocery Aldi. outlet. But obviously, we, it, I've never tried it. I've actually never. I never. Yo tampoco nunca, nunca se he comprado. Like, yeah. I mean, I feel like fresh is better. Yeah. So I need new uh, windshield wipers. Huele, huele princess. Princess. A princesa. Oh, this castle. <laughs> what uh, is it? Is it one bite? So it was a total of six dollars. We got two sliders and one cheesecake dip. For the cheesecake. And a stick. Dip. And a stick. Okay. This is the other. Chicken. Uh huh. They're only 150 calories, guys, so not just me here. Yeah, put some sliders. Okay, I'm gonna try the chicken and you can try the other one. The White Castle. Alright, so we're about to try. So we asked, and apparently everything's closed. I still want to go see, but they said everything's closed and they don't open until June, so I'm pretty sad. Esta que se la va a guardar para siempre. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Así como, así como viene. Cheers. Mm. Definitely, if we would have brought it like frozen, it would have been good. Go to the strip. He wants to go to the strip, fam. We should um go try food that is not in San Diego. Right? That should be our goal here. Mm -hmm. Come on, right now we just try a slider. We try like, something else that we don't see over there. 
Like when we're, we're probably gonna get like five pounds. <laughs> Come and I'll double chain you. Just serve. This is how you save calories, guys. Share. Okay. So this is a cheese stick, cheese cheesecake on a stick. Poke. You don't care if I take the chocolate? No. Mm. I thought you were just gonna do like a little tip area. <laughs> just mm. kidding. Do we recommend it taste wise? I do. Calorie wise, if you're not gonna eat like five burgers, then yeah. Mmm. How many calories do you have? Do I have? 150 the, the slider. Let's see. I mean, you could easily eat like. Yeah, so if you don't come really hungry. Yeah. Okay. So check out this restroom, dude. One mile, turn left. Been Magic Mountains. I don't know if you guys can see them, but look at those rocks. We'll, we'll show you guys right now. Um, close. But well, we found it. It's called Seven Magic Mountains. 25 minutes from Las Vegas downtown. Who oh, is it packed? Dang, it's packed. Finally, I've been telling Josh forever. Beautiful in the middle of nowhere. This is amazing. So, after about maybe two hours of photo shoot. Because we both want to change. We're having a little bit of a snack. Okay. It's already going to be 7 p.m. We have like a five hour, four hour drive and a half. So we're like 6 30 or 7. Not 6 30. So, yeah, guys, we're probably going to go home like 11 or 12 and we will have to work tomorrow. But guess what? We're cool like that. No camera? No. Can we call in tomorrow? Mm -mm. Right? You guys, what do you guys think? Should we put it in and just screw it? Mm. My phone's gonna die soon. Hopefully we make it safe. I don't know if he knows how to get there without a map. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna vlog the way there because it's pretty boring. We, we just talk or listen to music and that's about it. But it was really cool. I so recommend you guys to come here. We were gonna come just for the picture, but since we were in Arizona and we googled it, it was like less than two hours so we're like you know what we gotta go because I've been telling him forever that I want to come here and finally I came and it's beautiful and I don't regret it mm -hmm. anything else for the vlog? also I don't know if I mentioned but we did go into Pulici town I did ask on Instagram to give me ideas a few guys replied that lived in Las Vegas but honestly, we saw Kuliti Town and we like mariscos. We were looking at other restaurants, but we're, he's really picky with mariscos since he knows how to make them. Like, they, they better taste good. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just go somewhere that you've been to. In California, we have some Kuliti Towns, which is like a marisco place, like, they, like Sinaloense style. But it's like an hour drive now from our house. Sí. So we just wanted to go here because we never tried this one. And it was pretty good. The, the banda played a couple songs. Mm -hmm. No estaba como que acá, acá bien muy bueno, acá bien, pero no estaba bueno. I got a grilled fish taco, se llama taco sarandeado, taco de pisco sarandeado, and a gobernador, which is a shrimp taco with cheese, but the tortillas here are not like California. Ajá, una paleta aquí, una paleta. And then he got a torre, which is like fresh maize, because you're going to cut your mouth. Así comen en el torre. Hopefully we are back someday. And actually stay in Las Vegas and actually go out. Whenever this quarantine shit is over, we gotta come because I never came, you nunca venido a Las Vegas, but today, um, like as an adult, you could say, mm -hmm. when, I was 20, when I was a kid, when I was with my parents, but. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna start recording because it's gonna die, and we'll see you guys probably home. Hopefully, we make it safe. Mm -hmm. 
So we have we have two hours and a half uh, left to get to San Diego. So we stopped at Fort Wallace because I had to go pee. And we pump gas. And this is a new fashion. I think from now we're not gonna stop anymore. We're gonna go straight home. So. Hopefully we're jumping in the bathroom too. What are you doing? Okay, come on. Come on, come on, guys. Come on. Hey guys, good morning. So it is the next day. Um, last night we got home around 11.30. Um, I showered, I got ready for bed, and I went to sleep until like 12.30. So right now I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, so yeah, it was really, really fun. I, um, I did fall asleep probably the last 15 minutes of the drive because I was just so tired. I was trying not to fall asleep because I felt bad for Josh. He drove there and back, so I offered to drive. Obviously, he didn't let me, but yeah, he was okay. He We got here and he left home because, you know, he had to shower too and get ready for work. But I know it was really random that we went to Vegas after Arizona. We were not planning that, but I don't regret it. We were like, let's just go. We have no kids. The day we do have kids, it's going to be harder. We're going to have more excuses. So let's just go. And we did it. And that's how we've always been since we met each other. We always just do things without planning them. And they come out really, really good. Sometimes I'm planning things come out better. So yeah, back to reality. I did eat a lot out obviously i didn't have a kitchen the hotel we, we stayed in didn't have a kitchen we were doing other things um so i did out a lot obviously you guys know i always make my healthy choices and and try to stay healthy but okay i enjoyed everything i don't regret anything but it's time to get back on track so i'm going to show you guys really quick how i prepare my lunch because obviously we got here late i didn't have time to prep my lunch um right now i'm boiling some eggs very quick easy fix for me like for lunch wise I always get this um, frozen veggie mix from Aldi and this chicken that is really good actually. I really don't like frozen food, but this one's actually pretty good. I just add it to a little bowl here and when I get to work and it's lunchtime, I just microwave it for like a minute and a half. Add some avocado, sriracha, I'll eat it with the rice cake and it's bomb. Like it's really, really good. Back on track, back to working out. I didn't really work out over there because like I said, the gym was closed, but... We did go hiking once, but it wasn't like an intense hike. It was just more like for the view. It was nice, relaxing. But time to get back on track. I'm gonna, you know, work out the whole week. Right now I feel really like bloated from eating out so much and the sodium and my face feels like, and I look like all cachetona because, you know, my face gets swollen, but that's all right. Um, life is about enjoying it sometimes obviously get back on track and also for whoever that cares i did weigh in myself if i don't recommend you weighing yourself if you went on vacation and you're back if you're not mentally prepared or stable don't weigh yourself but since i already know kind of like what's up with my body i did weigh in myself and i didn't gain any weight and i feel like even though i ate out i make healthy choices i didn't stuff my face i didn't binge so I feel like that's why I maintain my weight. Uh, I know my body pretty quick. I've been tracking my macros for pretty long. So I know how much to eat to not gain weight. So just in case you care. And if you did go on vacation and you did gain weight, it's all right. You know, there's always, you always come back. You always get back on track. What's dangerous is when you come back and you don't want to get back on track. But don't worry. Drink a lot of water and eat better workout and you're going to be good. I like to always, you know, stay healthy wherever i i am but obviously don't don't exaggerate and don't you know stress out about not eating at home when you're on vacation to be that care i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to pack for lunch because you guys always ask me for ideas this is what i pretty much do a lot of the times i got my chicken here with veggies that i showed you i got a greek yogurt parfait that you guys know i mixed with cottage cheese some almonds and blueberries so that's gonna go in here i already added some stevia um, and then I got some strawberries to snack on. I got my bread for my avocado toast. Um, a cheese that I like to spread on one of the breads. And my avocado, obviously, for avocado toast. I got a sparkling water. And a Celsius. This is my morning drink. Uh, my eggs are not done boiling. They're still finishing up right there. And that's pretty much it. That's a pretty much all I take. I probably have like half a protein bar if I'm too hungry. or And my rice cake that I eat, I do have it at work. So that's about it. And this lunch bag that I get a lot of questions on is from Amazon. And it was only like 15 bucks. It was really cheap and it's really, really cute. We are going to go camping this next Saturday. So if you guys would like for me to vlog, I would definitely love to. You can go check out my pictures on Instagram. I'm going to add all the pictures we took on our trip. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. 
remember that I love you guys. And remember to do what's right now, what's easy, and to subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.